Continuing on with our Inception-like videos within videos, this is the second part of Drawn and Parametric Masks, and in this video we will look at Inclusive Mode. Let's go. Hi and welcome to episode 114 of Understanding Darktable. Now we've reset our history stack, I can now come back and introduce a drawn and parametric mask to our color balance RGB module. And we are going to change this to inclusive mode. Now this is the point at which the way the application works deviates from what is described in the manual. Let's have a look at the typical use cases inclusive mode from the Darktable manual. For this mode, you set the Combine Masks combo box to Inclusive Mode and make sure that all polarity buttons of all the individual channels, that means the parametric channels, and of the drawn mask are set to negative. Okay, let's just check that. These are all negative, as we can see from the little negative symbol there to the right. Yep, they're all negative, and our drawn mask is negative. So far, so good. Your starting point is a mask where all pixels have a value of zero. No pixel is selected. Okay, let's check that. Turn on the mask and ba -bow. wrong. So either it's a fault with the code or it's a fault with the documentation. Now I initially jumped to it's a fault with the documentation, but Todd kind of put forward an argument that it is correct because once you introduce a drawn element, everything behaves as expected. However, what it needs is for the drawn mask to start positive. Then we've got a mask where no pixel is selected. But the problem is the moment we add one drawn element, that needs to switch back to negative. Let's suppose, for this example, we want to select the three fob watches. Now, Inclusive mode is the opposite of exclusive mode. Remember with exclusive mode, it was start with a selection of whatever, whether it's drawn or a parametric selection, and then with each subsequent step, exclude more pixels from the selection. So allow me to narrow the selection down to exactly what I want. With inclusive mode, it's the opposite. It's let me start with a selection of X, and then whatever I do in subsequent steps, add more pixels or include more pixels in the selection. So for this, let's just grab a circular path and we want to select our three fob watches. Now, as we can see, this is where the polarity of the drawn mask does need to be negative but it needed to be positive at the outset in order to have a mask where nothing was selected. And yes, I've mentioned this on GitHub and yeah, anyway, let's not go there. Okay, so we're in inclusive mode. So anything we do subsequent to the first step will include more pixels. So let's just grab another circle and do something like that. And let's grab another circle and do something like that. Now we need to obviously go through and select the top parts of the three fob watches. Now, one thing you need to be aware of, let's just zoom in here. This circular path has included part of Tegan's finger. I do need to draw to your attention from up here in the combined drawn and parametric mask section, inclusive. Inclusive mode first inverts each individual mask, in other words, subtracts its value from one, multiplies the inverted masks together, and finally inverts the converted mask once again. Oh my god, could this be any less user-friendly? Seriously, there has to be a better way of describing this. This is just awful. I'm sorry, like, full respect to whoever wrote the code for the masks, because they are amazing. But the documentation is horrible. Who thinks like this other than a coder? For a given pixel, the final mask will have a value of 1 if any of the individual masks are 1 at that location, and it will only have a value of 0 if 
all masks have a value of zero at that location. Now, the reason I bring this to your attention is because once that part of Tegan's finger is included in that circular mask, there is no way to get it out. So if we were to, you know, let, let's say we were to come in and we wanted to desaturate the clocks. Fine, we desaturate the clocks. The clocks are all now desaturated, as we can see, but so is part of Tegan's finger. And there is nothing we can do to exclude those pixels from this mask now that it has been created in inclusive mode. Okay? The only thing I can do is to come back to that particular drawn element and make it small enough so that it doesn't include her finger and then use some other masking tool to grab the other bits of that fob watch whilst excluding her finger. So let's just grab a paintbrush and we will just paint through here like so. And yeah, I'm a little bit wobbly, I know. And that did that, and then we just need to grab the pixels that I missed through there. So that's all good. And then we've got to do something similar around this side. Whoop. And I don't want to get her finger, so just grab those nodes. And uh, you can see this can be fiddly, but if you want to take the time, you can get an amazingly accurate mask. Okay, I'm not going to waste my time with the rest of that, but you get the idea. All right, so then if I want to... Actually, I am going to because I'm going to do the top part of the fob watch. So I'm just going to draw across this section here like so. And then I'll do another path and I'll make my brush a bit smaller. And I'm going to try and do an even curve through there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit wonky, but you get the idea. You would go in and you would then modify this path. You know, you could knock it down to just three nodes and use the handles to control the angle of the, the curvature if you wanted to. I'm not going to spend my time doing that. Hopefully you get the idea. The idea with inclusive mode is that we are gradually including more pixels in our mask as we add more elements to the mask. Okay, like so. And then we want the... Whoa, that was a bit wobbly. Let's try that again. This is where I really should be using my stylus and my Wacom tablet. But I just wanted to demonstrate the, the concept here. And I will just very, very quickly do something similar over here. Okay, so you get the idea. It's a bit fiddly, absolutely. But the idea with inclusive mode is everything you do in a subsequent step adds to what you have created in the first step. Okay, I will call it quits on episode 114 at this point. We've covered inclusive mode. In episode 115, we will look at the last two modes, exclusive and inverted, and inclusive and inverted. I will catch you in the next one.